Hi, my name is Karen Slewinski. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Northeast Ohio. So today I think is going to be my last video shot at the apartment here in Cleveland. We are moving into our new house. Um, technically the address is Akron, but it's really kind of Cuyahoga Falls. So I'm very, very excited about that. So today's video is going to be featuring the Pretty Pillow Box dies. So this is what the dies are. We're gonna be making some as pillow boxes, but I'm also gonna show you how to use this to make a flat gift card. So we're gonna turn the camera around and we are gonna begin making our gift cards. All right, to begin with, I wanna feature a little bit more about this die. This is what comes in it. So this piece here is gonna cut out your basic pillow box shape. Then you have all these little additional pieces. So you can have a tag, these little flowers that might be poinsettias. These pieces here, okay, that one, and oh, hard to get it off, that one, and this one are things that you can add up near this curved piece. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about those, but this gives you just a little decorative edge, and this gives you just a little cut looks really cute and then you have this label and that you can cut and that kind of mimics this shape so you could use that on here and then of course you have a standard little um, a label for a sentiment so I'm going to show you some things with those but I wanted to show you how we use this and I think the easiest way is to show you some of the pillow boxes that I have made first and then I'm gonna show you how to make a flat one. So the very first one that I did, I cut it out of our craft paper, which is nice because this has got a little bit of stiffness to it. And I made this just as a pillow box. So it opens up and what I did add was a little notch. I just um, used one of my circle dies to cut out a notch and I have some Hershey nuggets in there. Um, but this just makes it a little bit easier to open. And you can see that this has got a lot of texture. And then for this, I just added a piece of real red, actually no, I think this is Poppy Parade, underneath it to make it pop and show that design. So I used my die, I cut out um, just a little portion that's like about this size, and then layered it behind there and I glued this shut. So very, very simple pillow box. This would be great for little um, favors at a wedding or a shower, or it'd actually be really cute if you had this um, as a name holder um, on your plates for your Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. So then I wanted to show you a couple other ideas. So this one, which is really cute, I made that little tag and it says, you're sweet and I cut out a little bit of the candies and I tied it with this beautiful ruffled ribbon. So if you can see here, I used this piece um, on, here I'll show you, on up here. So it cuts those two holes, which allowed me to feed my ribbon in through those two holes and then tie it. I did attach this with a glue dot on the back to keep it nice and secure. Um, but that's really cute. So this pillow box would open up, you untie the ribbon and it opens up um, with the flap this way. Here is another one that I did with non-Christmas colors. So this is our Simply Elegant paper. And I use some of this beautiful jade ribbon that has just the touches of gold in here. And this is a beautiful little gift box. So simple, just with a ribbon, your tag, and that is it. And then I wanted to show you how you can make this into a gift card holder because gift cards will not fit here. So here is one that I made um, with some really pretty designer series paper. I did cut um, the decorative edge and I put a glue dot here just to kind of hold it in place. And then you can see you can fit your gift card and it just slides right in and then the glue dot will hold it. So I decorated it with some of those flowers, added some gold gems. It is really, really pretty. And then this is another gift card holder. And this one I've chosen to use a belly band. So this slides off and you can open this up and then you have your gift card, okay? So we are going to make this one today. I'm gonna to show you how to take that pillow box and make it into a gift card holder. So what you're going to need 
is a piece of your designer series paper. This is four and a half by six inches. You also need a strip of paper for your belly band. This one is one inch by about five and a quarter. It doesn't have to be um, precisely that measurement. And then we need a square for our sentiment that's gonna go here. This is a two and a quarter inch square. So we are gonna get started and I am going to cut out this pillow box. I'm gonna just lay this on here. I'm gonna cut this out and I will be right back. So this is all that's left of that. So it's very um, frugal with your paper. And this is your die cut pillow box. And I think if you can see on here, you have all the crease lines for your folds. But we are not gonna be using these curved pieces to make the pillow box. We're only gonna be using these two here. And then we are gonna actually trim, um, actually score, not trim, um, some lines down here. So I am going to get out my personal trimmer here. And what we need to do is using our scoring blade. So I'm gonna move my cutting blade out. I want to line up the point where it would come in here. So where this curve comes in, I'm gonna line that just at this edge and then I'm gonna score that. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So where it comes into the point, comes in there, make sure that lines up. And again, I'm gonna score that. So really, that's all we need to do with our trimmer. And then I am going to fold on that crease there for the center. I'm going to give that a good press. I'm going to fold on this crease and press that in. All right, then we have these pieces here. So I'm going to fold those in and crease that and repeat that on the other side. So there we have it. All right, so that is essentially what we have. So what I would like to do now is I want to adhere these flaps. This one needs just a little bit more press at this point. Um, I want to adhere these front flaps to the front. So I'm gonna open those up and add just a little bit of glue. Um, you could use any of our adhesives, but you do want this to be pretty stuck down. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and that is going to prevent the gift card from catching on this flap. So the first time I don't think I did um, that and it didn't, it just didn't slide in quite as smoothly. So when you do these things, you kind of learn some tips and tricks along the way. So give that a good press. Now we have to attach this one to this one and this one to this one. So again, we're gonna use our glue and we're putting our glue all the way um, along this edge. I'm gonna make sure I didn't go over that edge. And then we're gonna close this up. And hold that until it sticks. Okay, that looks great. And now you can slide your gift card in here. Um, and actually I'm gonna grab another one. because sometimes the thickness of this gift card is just a little bit more on that flap. So um, just make sure that it um, creases nicely. So there we have our gift card. Now we have our little flap. So this I am just going to put like this and I'm gonna fold it and then I'm gonna crease that this you have to make so it's a little bit looser. You do not want it to be so tight that it can't slide off. So I fold it over 
and I make sure that there's a little bit of gap and it can slide. So now that I've got that in place, I'm gonna hold that there and then I can crease it. And then I am going to add my glue to this top part here so this will stick together. Okay, then all we need to do is stamp our little sentiment. So this joyful season is beautiful. And I really like the design of this one because it seems to complement our paper. So I'm gonna stamp that like so. Close this up. And then I am using my layering circle dies. This is the third smallest one. So I have already cut that out. So we have that here. And I'm gonna slide my belly band on. Oh, if I can just get it open a little bit. Slide that right over. And then I am going to use some dimensionals. And I think I'm going to put this on with some mini dimensionals for them. Oops, I got one extra one. Oh, I have two extras. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then these are going to pop right on. And you can have a bunch of these gift cards made in no time flat. It's a great way um, to show off your paper. I'm going to put that right centered in there. And there you have your gift card or gift card holder I should show you should say so there we have our pretty little pillow box dies and I'm gonna pull these all out so you can see you can make them as a pillow box which these are or you could make them as um, a flat gift card holder and the ideas are limitless I really hope that you give this a try. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you need to order any of the supplies, the details will be in the description of this video and on my blog. And hopefully the next video will be shot at my new townhouse. So I'm very, very excited. And I will see you next time. Thanks.